guys, in today's Dead by Daylight video, I have some gameplay from The Artist. The whole point of this multi-POV video is just to showcase the absolute power that The Artist has in both the 1v1 as well as map control. I mean, more up until this point, genuinely believed that no one was playing The Artist very well, and he hadn't experienced anyone who knew how to play The Artist until he ran into me. And I wanted to showcase how powerful the one crow shot technique is on the artist versus someone who is very experienced in dbd the whole point behind the one crow shot is that you get your power back more quick and you're able to essentially crow swarm crow injure crow swarm crow down and by doing that you actually get downs really quickly and you deny a lot of looping opportunities from the survivor as well so enjoy the gameplay if you learned something make sure you hit the thumbs up button check to see if you're subscribed to the channel and enjoy what a time to be alive all right a little quick scouting of gens we see there's a michaela here Sorry, where is she there she is she's going towards the window so we'll set up she went upstairs we can't do anything about that let's try and hit this arena we just had to be patient because she decided to take a really uh, long route. If she drops the pallet, it resets her crows, so she can't repel them. What we're going to do is try and basic attack her here with the window. And then go for a follow-up attack with the uh, crow. Ah! Because she decided to never repel her crows, big mistake by the way, we're able to follow up with a, a second attack and that's huge for us. We have to play against anyone who's really worked out how to play this kill yet. Good dodges by Quentin. No one's really got it down. Mm -hmm. He's doing it. I don't know why. Stop me from getting my um, blast mine on there. He walked into it. Oh, if he uh, vaults, he resets the birds. He vaulted. Amazing. Oh, There's I didn't down hear a place. Uh, the walls. Oh, uh, Huge. Stupid. Yeah, that, that ability kind of cocks blast mine. Uh, actually, they're on that gen up there as well, so. Oh, good dodge by Quentin. So what we're going to do is look to set up like this in case he goes back. He's not going back, that's fine. I'm okay with the gen upstairs being completed. It's not a valuable gen to me. I can never use my crows on it to contest it, so. Uh, Quentin's doing a really good job of dodging. Well played by Quentin so far. Holding that W key as much as he can. There's a hit, and finally, onto him. If he vaults, he can't repel, remember. Since we know that, we just assume that he is going to vault. And if he doesn't, we just W key him, and we catch him eventually. That's just a, a little bit of, like, game knowledge that we can use to outplay him. Can she see where you are when you've got the birds on you? Yes! Alright, so they have uh, essentially stayed injured, two of them, to get uh, gens completed. Which is uh, a bit annoying, but there's nothing we can do about it. We're just going to go for a cross map onto this arena. We dead hearted it. And we missed both of them. They both dodged at the last second. We've hit the, uh, the Jonah. We're going to try and follow up with an attack ourselves. Dodge this time. Good on him. We set up early for that, just in case. If he bolts his part, he will reset his crow. I haven't seen anyone do this yet. I haven't seen anyone use one at a time so far. Let's go to quick value now. That gen regresses, and we can see survivors at Shack. So we're just going to assume maybe they're on the Shack gen. Yep, there you are. Perfect. There's Quentin. Quentin's been very good at dodging crows, remember? I actually see Zarina. She's not as good at dodging crows. So uh, we're going to try and get a kill on her then. I'm going to set up in the shack like that. And we've got her here. Lovely. Uh, oh, Scourge Hawks are really centralized, aren't they? Dad hard to be really good against this, uh, this killer. And that hit him. Is he going to stay on it? No, he's running off instantly. Oh, we got an injure state. That's very good. 
And let's see what we can do with the shack. So we're going to do a cheeky one there and there. And we're going to allow him to potentially make the mistake at this paddle. Oh, I did it, send it out, but it was too slow. He's currently trying to repel. And if he drops the pallet, he will not be able to repel. It's had a boon set up, which is okay. Not a big deal. It's probably Jonah's boon. Jonah's is essentially going to give the survivors uh, unbreakable around the boon totem. There's a survivor on that gen. We'll just get rid of it. I see the survivor there. Oh my god, that hit me too. If they bolt windows, so they can't, uh, they time. reset their uh, progression. There's a ninja. And it's, it's working more. for him. Lovely. There's a hit again. The cooldown is so low. He just gets to... Uh, gets to go to the next loop. Gets to do it for free. Oh, you, know, you can see where I was. He's still got the crows on him, remember, though? And he only has one place he can go. This and it's this pallet here. So we are just going to set up the other side of it. But I die anyway. Sad. Nothing I can do there, unfortunately. Eventually, we exhausted his looping opportunities. Just as I said, no one's really worked out to play him. This guy's kind of worked out to play him. Two of them on that gen. Let's just send one over. Oh, we hit Michaela. She's sticking the gen. She's hopped off it. I think she'll be about there by the time my crow reaches. Yep, there she was. Good. I think she'll be about there by the time my crow reaches. Perfect. And then for the last one, I think she will just actually camp the pallet. Oh, this is just resetting her crows. It's not actually killing her. I forgot. That's some PTB. Uh play style that just doesn't work anymore there's a hit there's only one crow remember so what we have to do is this and if she vaults the pallet it resets the crows so there's nothing she can do to get away from them here seems like this boon was reset up so we'll uh, get rid of it they have got one gen remaining and that's my grim embrace so now all the gens are blocked which is good for us no uh, gen value. Our obsession was over here. It's the Quinton. He may have moved from that position. He has not. Yeah. So he doesn't know that he's affected by uh, by Crimson Brace, I guess. There's the hit. Remember, if he vaults, the repel action resets. No revolting. Oh, I thought I could refresh him, but he actually dodged it right at the last second. Good on him. I was being very greedy and trying to get a insta down on him, and that did not work at all. There's a down because he ran into the line of fire. All right, cool. There it is. Uh, I don't know these scratch marks. Yeah, they're running away. Okay. Are we just camping the pallet? Let's we'll set it up and get it to run into the, the line if we can. That's perfect. We can let our crow reset so we have full charges. Nice dodge. A dead hard though. A uh, dead hard's not necessary because... Well, she's she's not in a, a, a lethal state. So it's a bit of a strange one. Yeah. And that just leaves Michaela. Scratch mask here. They don't appear to be leaving here. All right, cool. Gonna be a race to hatch. We missed. She uh, dodged in. There we go. A little hit. And there's the down. GG.